Hi everybody, I'm here back in Munich, my second hometown after Barcelona. And we're here very close to the English Garden here in, in Freisinger Hof Beer Garden. And I've come here today to um, introduce you to a very special person, somebody who inspired me 25 years ago uh, when I um, came back to Audi to work in, in Ingolstadt. And he's here now and I'd like to um, introduce him. His name is Graham Morris. Hello, Graham. Hi, Wayne. Long Good time to see. see. Good to see you again here in Munich. I've known Graham for um, 25 years. We met when you, I think you were the first um, top executive to join a big uh, German manufacturing group back then, no? Yeah. It was 1996, I think. From England, yeah. From England, from Liverpool. Yeah, even worse. <laughs> even worse. Uh, but I mean, perhaps say, we perhaps start with that, Graham. What was your, your experience like um, back then, coming from a, an Anglo-Saxon environment to, to, to a German group? I think, like any human being, Wayne, at the time, I probably didn't tell you, um, but it's, it's quite scary. You're only human, uh, after all. And so I was changing country, changing company, uh, no German language, uh, no history of this company called Audi, which was quite small then. So um, it was obviously a big step, but I think if you're going to get on with your career and you know, you've got the guts, you have to take those steps and you went for it. Looking at the challenge we're facing with um, the movement from combustion to electric, what odds would you give us on, 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 on making this happen with Cupra? I know you, I know what you're capable of. Um, if you've selected the right team, um, who are, um, I'm trying to choose the right words here, not as crazy, but as different as you, in terms of your outlook, um, and then you can get the rest of Cooper behind you, and obviously say it, um, well, why, should, why wouldn't you be successful? Um, as I say, it's not, it's not like a, it's like a captain of a football team going out saying, oh, I think we're gonna, will, will we win today? Um, well, if you go out with that attitude, no, you're not. If you go out and say, yeah, we're going to beat the best football team in the world. Uh, if, if you do, fantastic. If you don't, well, you tried yeah. your best. And, and that's, all, that's all you can ask, isn't it? It's a great philosophy. I keep telling the team as well, we, we, you know, we shouldn't go out not to try and not, uh, and, and not lose. We, we need to go out and try and win. I mean, scoring 0-0 zero, zero would be nice, but we need to go out and try and win this one. If every day you come in and give 110% and you fail, then exactly, not exactly motivating uh, for the future. With the Sayat and Cooper you've got today, you've got success over the last few years, and that should put a different philosophy and mentality into everybody that works there. We can win, we can break through, we can succeed, and if we keep on doing more of that, then who knows where, you know, the, yeah, success, the sky's the limit. Success, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where would you put the focus? Cause where would you put the energy? Where would you put what, which elements would you bet on making the difference and getting through this transformation? Number one is, is people, because a brand without people doesn't exist. You've got to do rally the troops, get everybody around and say, right, now what are we going to do together? You on your own can't do it. You as a board of directors can't do it. You need all of the people in Sayat and Cooper behind you pulling in that one direction, following your lead, and that's where your leadership comes into play big time. And a good example of that is right now with the pandemic, when you think that that's not about brand, but what's happened is the whole model has had to change. Uh, and it's like the captain, of, for me, of a captain of a football team saying, you know, we're gonna win. Well, unless the other 10 players on the pitch with you decide they actually wanna win and they wanna be on your side, you ain't gonna win the game. Mm. So it was all about trying to get people to buy into that and also to lose the fear factor, mm. the fear of failure. Um, and and that, that takes a little bit of time, particularly in a different culture, to get that through. But um, I think just by showing as a leader your integrity uh, in terms of that you're honest, you're truthful. What makes a great, um, a great leader of an organization? Honesty integrity. A definition of a manager is the manager does things right, a leader does the right things. 
a leader leads his team in a direction. He sets the direction and he asks them to follow them by telling them what, what it can be like on the promised land. Um, whether that be selling 700,000 cars, a million cars a year, whatever, whether it be a profit target, but give them something they can buy into. And this happens all the way down the chain. It's not just about being the CEO. So it's about leading that team. It's not trying to do everything yourself. It's about encouraging them, as, as I say, working together. You've been in lots of big different organizations, big corporations. How have you been able to protect your personal individual values in the different environments you've been in? Never forget where you came from. Never forget the people who are working for you, you know, are just, are just the same as you uh, and want to get, and what they want is satisfaction in their life. They want to look after their families. They want to be treated well with respect, you know, treat people as you want to be treated yourself. They're all very, very simple philosophies. I'm sure you could read lots and lots of textbooks that will give you chapters and chapters on it all with, with but simplicity, with yeah, with sim simplicity is the, is the easiest thing. And it's worked for me. I'm not saying it will work for everybody, but that's, that's my philosophy of life. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's great advice. It's what, what always impressed me and inspired me when, when you arrived in, in this, this obviously very um, German driven culture environment here, but you, you didn't change either. You kept your humor. Be yourself. You know, take the job seriously. This is an old adage, take the job seriously, but don't take yourself too seriously. I'm, I'm the chief executive. I'm, I'm, I'm just Graham Morris and you're Wayne Griffiths. And at the moment, you're chief executive, say it in Cooper, and you're very, very proud and very happy to do that job. Um, I'm, again, we're only human. Like, I didn't go into work every day running Rolls Royce or Bentley or Audi with a, on a Monday morning with a skip and a jump saying, whoopee, I can't wait to get to work. <laughs> Uh, but 99% of the time, I enjoyed what I was doing. And if you don't enjoy what you're doing, go and do something else, because life is too short. It really is. And, and you know, I, I know that only, too, it sounds like an old man talking, but um, life does go too quickly. Um, so enjoy every day that you come to work at Sayat and Cooper. Um, you know, think about what you can do, what you can contribute, the successes that you can have going forward, and winning as a team. You know, you uh, can't improve as one individual improves something by a thousand percent, but a thousand people could improve something by one percent each. So, you know, you can succeed as a team. When well, you a little gift for you. Thank you, Graham. Um, some things I've, words I've put in, um, which you can read at your leisure. Some advice, and if you remember, I gave you some advice in Audi to get your hair cut, and you followed it, and look where it's got you. Thank you, Graham. It's great to have chatted with you. Thank you for flying here. I really uh, uh, appreciate uh, your advice and, and your in inspiring words. And uh, for me, the most important with you is uh, uh, what you say is what you do. You practice what you preach. You've never changed. And uh, I'll try and uh, follow your great example. Thanks for being here. No, thank you. <laughs>